This is my potion shop. I'm going to show you how to build it. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I have a little potion shop here that I think is pretty cool. Okay, complete with the uh, the ingredients you need to actually make it work, which obviously is uh, nether wart. Okay, we have two different kinds of potions. You can make them whatever color you want. That's entirely up to you. But I think it looks cool. Let me go inside. Okay, you go in here. It's a little plain. I figured I'd give you some room to move. You can actually move this down one if you'd like. But we got potion of healing, potion of regen, potion of weakness, all level two. This is how much it costs. So you'd be on the other side. Okay, they would throw you their stuff, their, you know, their payment. And then you would brew it. Now, ideally, you'd have this chest full of the three potions. Okay. And you can actually come up here and fill in the three ingredients. So you got your nether wart. You got your whatever. I forget what it was. A glistering melon. And that may even be it. I forgot. But you just fill up your ingredients here. Uh, you'd have to figure out, depending on which direction you are, uh, which order to do it. Okay. So you'd have to just play around with it. That's the only unfortunate thing I can't show you. Because I found that it is directionally based. So depending on which you know which way you're facing uh, on the map. I've done a ton of uh, potion, tut potion tutorials. So trust me uh, when I say that. At least that's what I found. Maybe it doesn't work like that for you. But that's how I found it. So you would just play around with it. Uh, I'd say most likely this one in the middle would be the nether wart. But again, play around with it. Then you know the order to fill it in. You press the button. Everything shoots into here. You already have this filled up with uh what is that called i forgot the fuel but you would have to already have that filled up and then it would bro uh, and then here would be your um your bottles and you're good to go. and then you take them out you put it in there so this is not an auto brewer i just didn't have the room i was going to do an auto brewer but i would need a lot more room behind it uh and i didn't want to do that but you can always expand it if you want and uh yeah and this is a lock because what's going to happen is if you didn't have this locked right we turn that off as soon as you put the bottles in there, the bottles will just get sucked out. So you'll just have three water bottles there. And uh, you definitely don't want that. So you lock it. Once the potions are done brewing, you can then come in here and you can let it go. And it'll automatically, rather than having to go inside this and take out one, two, three bottles, you just go like that, let them drain, get your water bottles, lock this, and then put the water bottles in here. Okay? So yeah, just something fun. Uh, let's go get into what you need and how to build it. All right, guys, here's everything you're going to need. Now, the big stuff like the oak wood planks, I would say take about four stacks of that. Uh, for the oak wood stairs, you might just want, if you have a, a stack handy, just to be safe, I counted like 16 or 17, but I feel like I missed some. So maybe take a stack of those. Dark wood oak, uh, dark wood oak as well, or dark oak wood, whatever you want to say. It's um, about two and a half to three stacks of that, just to be safe. But everything else should be uh, should be exact, except for one of the potions. You're gonna need double for one of them, just because of the uh, where the auto potion or where the potion brewer is. I just put one there for decoration. So, other than that, just take a screenshot, pause it, or just look in the description, and I'll have everything for you. Okay. So we're gonna start. This is our front. Uh, I forgot to do how wide it's going to be, but we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Skip a space for the door, although you could put. Oops, you could put the dark oak on the bottom and then one there. Okay. Go sideways and go one, two, three, four, five. Go back and go one, two, uh, three, I believe. Skip a space. Put that on the bottom. And then one, two, three. That's for the back door. And then sideways, come out again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is going to be your, your frame here. Now we're going to go up one, two, right here, one, two, go across with it, come up there, and then same thing over there on the side here. We're just going to go across, oops, across with it like that. And then back here, we're just going to make a little square because we're going to leave space for the glass. Okay, and then just like so. Perfect. Hey, while you're here, you might as well just come in here and fill your floor in. Now, we are going to put down a chest. I believe it's right here. I'm trying to think. Yeah, so actually, 
you could break that down like this. Everywhere else you could just go in and put this. The reason we're doing that, I'll show you when we actually uh, build it. It's just to hide the chest so nobody, nobody sees it. Okay, perfect. Now we can actually come in here and get our, our oak wood. Stairs go upside down there. And then the back go upside down as well. Cool, we can get rid of our doors. So let's come in here with our doors really quick. And I like to do it from the outside. So we'll go one there and one there. So that way when you're inside, it's recessed a little bit, right? It's recessed, but I think it looks better uh, from the outside if the door's flush with the wall. Although if you want, you could try it this way. So let's just see, we might as well try it this way. Oops, sorry, inside here. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Depending on your style, maybe that does look a little better, I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna take our glass and we're just gonna fill in the front here. So one, two, three, go around the back. One, two, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna actually build that back part right there. So did I come out five? One, two, three, four, yeah, came out five with it. So we're gonna go, actually six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go all the way across. And then you're just gonna match up to that wall again. Just like, whoops, just, I don't know what happened. For some reason, I am I have this like drift. I don't know if it's my controller or if the last update put that drift back that we used to have. I don't know, but it's a pain in the butt. So then you're just gonna put, no, not Podzilla, whoops. You're going to put down your, here we go. You're gonna put down your soul sand. Okay, you're gonna go all across, so just fill this all in. Okay, once that's done, you can come in and you can fill in your nether wart. Obviously, you'd have to have it already done, or you can honestly just lay down a couple if you have it, and then they'll grow, and then you can break them and plant the rest of them. Okay, but you always want to have the, you always want to have it uh, at the ready for when you have potions. Okay, then we just trace this all the way around like so. Skipping those corners for now because we're gonna go up with it, but that's why I'm thinking to make it easier this way. You go one, two, three, just like so. One, two, three. And then we can come in here with our uh, slabs. So if you if you look up here, we have the slabs there. So you can do that now if you if you're ready. Just come in here like this. Boom, boom, boom. Go all the way around, and then fill in, uh, fill in the middle as well. Okay. Now back towards the front. We're gonna right underneath the glass here. We're gonna. I actually happen to like puzzles, so we're gonna go one, two, three. You can use regular dirt. Doesn't matter. And then each, in each of these corners, we'll put some pods too. Now we're just gonna take uh, spruce trap doors. You can use oak, that's totally fine. I just really like the way the spruce looks. And the oak has the holes and I don't wanna see the dirt at all. Okay, so we're just gonna go around it just like so. And then for the corners, I use the peonies. And for the purposes of showing you guys the ingredients, everything fit on one page, uh, but you can, I used, if you look in the front, I use three different kinds here. So you can spruce it up a bit by mixing it up, mixing up the flowers. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put this uh, for now, just because again, I didn't have those two extra spots. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna come here and we're gonna actually do the outside. So I'm gonna first take the magenta. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but we're gonna do purple. So I'm just gonna do this side and you can do the opposite side. Okay, so starting from this corner right here, we're gonna go one, two, three. Oh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> we gotta use the glass. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. We're gonna make a little nine by nine in the middle here. So three by three, I'm sorry, uh, three by three, but we're gonna do it three times. I don't know why I said nine by nine, there's nine of them. Okay, just like that. We're gonna cut, and the second row is gonna be different. It's gonna go one, two, three, four. Same thing in the middle here. Again, put that one out, and then back to just tracing the inside there. Just because we're kind of trying to do a bottle with a very limited space, okay? Next up, we're gonna go one, two, three. Put, a, put some magenta there, here, and then one, two, three, and then fill that in like so. 
Oh, sorry. This goes like this. I apologize. Yeah, that's glass. And then we're going to do a little L shape here. That's right. So we're going to do a little L shape just like that. Okay. And then we're going to go one, two, three, just like so. Filling that in. Whoops. Okay. And now we can use the regular glass for the top. So let's bring the regular glass down. And we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I fill that middle part, one, two, three. And then you can actually go ahead and do the, the back as well. But we're actually going to be leaving that one space. So it's just going to be two. Okay. So we're just going to go one, two. And then for the top part, we're going to take stairs. Actually, and put one there. And for the top part, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then there. And that, that kind of looks like a bottle to me, right? So you're going to do the same thing on the other side, only with purple. Okay, now that that's done, we're just going to raise this front right there. So we can go ahead and put these... Uh, is outside here just like that okay so that's what it's going to be all the way around and then when we come to this corner we're going to go one and then what we're actually going to do is put a junk block down and go two like that so the back of it is flush so when we break this block see how it's it's kind of squared off there so we're going to do the same thing for this side all right so we're going to put a block down we're going to go out this way and then squared off and then we can kind of just make sure this is yeah just make sure that turns in okay cool and we're going to do the same thing for this one right here so we're going to go that way and then we can run all the way around this oops okay so then we can we can kind of trace this all the way around wait no yeah we want to go this way sorry we want to go just like this, even in the corners, go all the way across. And then we're going to do the same thing for here, for right here. Oops. So we want to make sure, put a junk block and then that there. Okay. So now all four of these should look like this. Now we're going to just build this up. So we're going to go upside down, turn this way, go on top of it, upside down on top of it same thing here we're going to go upside down and this way upside down and this way and then you can just put a regular hold on i think that's what i put over here it's the regular one in the middle of it yes i did and i actually don't have that so i'll make sure to add that to the ingredients but we can go uh one two just like that so we're going to do the same thing on this side perfect now we can come in here we could just fill these in and then go behind it see where these little gaps are we're going to go one two three just like that we'll do the same thing on the other side so we're going to fill this in and then one two three and we're just filling that in and then we can come across with those okay so all of those can match up and meet up just like that this is why I told you you needed a lot of these for this part. Okay. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our dark oak and our dark oak uh, slabs. So we're going to do the slabs right here, right on top of these, which is directly above where the nether ward is. Whoops. Nope. Okay, so we're just going to go right on top of it. And it has this kind of extended roof look. You can honestly design it however you want. If you want a better looking roof, that's fine. I liked it, so I just kept it. And now we're going to put the regular ones here. So these are all regular. Okay, same thing here. Regular, regular. And then for this part, we're just going to put slaps just like that. Okay, one more thing about the outside here is if you have two banners, magenta banners, or if you can make potion banners, that'd be really cool. I didn't have enough room or or honestly want to do that for this, but you can go ahead and do that. And then we're also, we're going to skip this one and come out here. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're going to take our two slabs and put them right out there. 
Just kind of gives a little extra dimension to the outside, I think. Okay, so that's the whole outside done. You can design the middle however you want, if, if you want to do that, but or the inside. Let's just come in here. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take our lights. Very important to light this baby up. So we're going to go one, skip a space, one, oops, sorry, not skip a space. We're going to find that middle right there. So it's going to be skip two spaces. Okay. And then we're going to take our oak wood stairs. And we're going to come right here. One, two, three. See how I have that drift? It's annoying me. Okay. And then we're going to put our fence gate here. Now this is for the shop owner. So the shop owner goes on the other side. Okay. And just like so. Right here, you're going to put your chest. And again, the reason we have the chest there is so when people are here shopping, they can't steal your stuff. This is where you're going to keep your, your money. Uh, you can even keep... You can keep whatever you want. You can keep extra potions, whatever you want. But it's only for the shopkeeper. So you can't really see it. Okay. Now you're going to find that middle one right here. So we're actually going to break a little hole. One, two, three for now. Right. So we're, we're, And then what, I, what I'm going to go ahead and do is put oak wood plank there. Okay. Now I'm going to put a chest here. Come behind it. Whoops, come behind it and we're going to put our hopper facing into it. All right, so hopper there, which why can't I get the hopper going? I don't know why. Here, let me break this really quick. For some, for some reason, it's not giving, let me put a hopper in. There we go. Hopper there. Next to it, actually, this is good that I opened it up. Next to it, we're going to put our lock. So it's the redstone lamp with the lever. Just go ahead and lock it so on you know the lock is on. That's what that means. Okay, now we can go ahead. We can put down our brewing stand. Okay. We can go ahead and put another hopper on top of that. Break that. We can come in here. And we go one, two, three, just like that. And we're going to put down our three droppers. So again, a uh, dropper facing in. Dropper facing that way, and dropper facing in. Okay, so those are the three droppers. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put down our button crouch, place it on that back one. And we're also going to take uh, another of these spruce trap doors and put it right there. Although I think I put it on top of, there we go. See, I like it up that way. You need it up actually because you need to be able to get the items in. Okay, and just like so. And then I went ahead and I put banners there and there. And then you can go ahead, put down an item frame across that. This is the second potion I was telling you about. Oops, let's change it up. Let's go ahead and put our potion of healing right in there. I think it looks really, really nice. Next to it here, this is where we're going to put our barrel. And again, this is just going to be for um, for potions, uh, not potions, sorry, water bottles. Okay, you can even do a little water feature. I actually didn't do that here, but you can just do a nice little water feature in here, in the corner, whatever you want to do. So you can actually do it like this. Let's just do it really quick. All right, let's just go ahead and go one, two, three. Uh, we don't. We can leave that for now. And then you can actually add a little water feature on yeah let's go ahead and add a little water feature so this is optional so that's why it's not included right there right there and then put a trap door down and then this becomes your infinite water source as soon as you as soon as you take it okay so that's another thing you can do for water bottles and now this side you just go ahead and fill with potions so we're going to lower it from where i had it one two three okay and we're going to put the potions here in any order you want so we're going to do Potion of Healing, uh, Potion of Regen, and Potion of Weakness. Or you can flip-flop these. And then go ahead and take your... Where is it? I think you only had three. You, you actually need six of these. And then you would go ahead and put what they are up here. And then underneath it, whatever the price is. Okay, so we're just going to, we're just going to put these down for now. Pretend that they have stuff on them. And go ahead and do that. And then in the corners... Uh, I don't know if I actually added this, but let's go ahead and just put 
that like that okay and that's it that's the whole thing i think it looks really good it's kind of funky looking uh which you guys know me that's my style i like to make it look very strange but functional all right so that's going to do for me guys until next time captain obvious out peace